no need to waffle on this great dinner idea. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manojlovich. If you've never been here before, a heartfelt welcome from all of us at Weekend at the Cottage to you. Please visit weekendatthecottage.com and when you're there, subscribe to our website. We'd also appreciate if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching this video on YouTube now, give us a thumbs up, drop us a few comments, also click the bell for notifications. You'll be up to date on all of our latest and greatest videos. Finally, keep the conversation going by visiting us on one or more of your favorite social media platforms, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay, so the concept is waffles, something we often enjoy for breakfast, but we at the cottage thought we would push the envelope a little bit and instead suggest you pull out your waffle maker at the end of the day and create beautiful, savory waffles we think you and your family will enjoy. Our waffles are enhanced with Parmesan cheese and bacon and sun-dried tomatoes. It's fantastic. The recipe is very straightforward. Let's begin the recipe with two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. Add in one tablespoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning, about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon each salt and black pepper, and then the boost of flavor we so enjoy, one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Those ingredients all in the bowl, stir them together. Now we're gonna add our wet ingredients. We start with two eggs, small bowl, beat them together just a little bit, add them into the dry mix. A cup and two thirds of whole milk and a third of a cup of vegetable oil. I cooked off eight rashers of bacon, two I set aside, chopped them up as a garnish, but the remaining six I chopped up. I'm now adding those six rashers of crispy cooked bacon, roughly chopped into this mix about a third of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, very finely diced. Last thing is about one tablespoon of fresh basil, finely chopped. Now I suggest you take a wooden spoon. We're gonna stir everything together. Make sure everything is well blended. Our savory waffle batter is ready to go. Now you need a waffle iron. Uh, and for this, I'm using my fancy schmancy one. I got it as a gift when I first got the cottage. Very cool. I love how I can open it up fill it and then turn. Oh, I can fill the other side and close. It's pretty high tech, but actually most waffle irons work the same. Set your waffle iron to heat in advance. As soon as it comes to temperature, we're taking one cup of our waffle batter, add it into the center, smooth it out a little bit, close it, and we're gonna cook it for three minutes, 45 seconds exactly that timeline. When the timer goes off, I lift the lid and you can see these beautiful, uh, gorgeous, very high, golden, savory waffles. I think they're fantastic. Um, and to serve them, to enjoy them for dinner, I place them, divide them into four, place them onto a plate, a little sprinkle of our chopped two rashers of bacon that we reserved, a little sprinkle of bacon. How about some more fresh grated Parmesan cheese I suggest serving this with our famous Caesar salad. Click up here for our Caesar salad. You can also look at our City Slicker video for our simple salad. Click up there for our simple salad recipe. Uh, a savory dinner need not be complicated. In fact, it can be simple, yet the flavors are what truly make it memorable. As I cut into my savory waffle, it is very lovely, light, fluffy. Mm, smells pretty good. Mm. Sure. Smells pretty good, tastes even better. How about dinner waffles with Parmesan and bacon the next time you go to make dinner? After that, just come on back and hang out with Weekend at the Cottage again, our only goal to make every day feel like it's the weekend. Please come back and visit again. Take care.